Hey everyone, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back guys. Please hit that like button guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell so you guys know when I go live. Oh, sorry, and when I am uploading new videos. So what I'm going to do here in this video, I'm just going to go quickly through Aries to Pisces. I'm going to get you guys some love messages from whoever's in your energy fields. Whoever you need to hear from, whoever's on your mind, take what resonates, leave the rest behind. If it doesn't resonate for you, if it doesn't make sense for you, then it's just not your story. So don't take it in. Um, go ahead and hit that like button. Go ahead, share. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Do all of that stuff. You can also drop down your zodiac sign down below. Timestamp it if need be. But I think I said everything. I think I said everything. So yeah, we're going to go through love messages. Like I said, we're going to start from Aries and work our way down to Pisces. So hello, Aries. How's it going? I hope everyone is doing well. I'm going to go ahead and get you guys some messages here. All right. What does Aries currently need to know? Give me six cards. Ugh. All right. Aries, your love messages from your person today says that they're afraid to contact you. So someone is afraid to currently contact you right now. They're afraid to reach out to you. But they do still see you as the one. So whoever you're thinking about, whoever's in your energy field, this person does want to speak to you. They still see you as being the one. I still seeing a bit like you two are feeling very close to one another. Says being you with you makes me forget all about my hard days and moments. So I definitely feel like this person loves to be with you. Um, I definitely feel like you guys kind of balance each other out here where it's like, you know, if you have a hard day, you really want to talk to this person, you really want to reach out to this person, vice versa. I also feel like there's a bit of miscommunication here. Says no other can hold a candle to you. You're all I've ever wanted and more. So I definitely feel like someone is definitely seeing you as someone that they want to spend time with. Someone they're feeling very close with. But someone is afraid to reach out. You could also be afraid to reach out to them. I'm seeing 222 as an angel number. I love and care for you more than you will ever know. So I'm feeling like someone still loves you, Aries. I feel like there could be, you know, an energy here of you maybe possibly still loving someone too. And then your last one for today says, I write out messages a lot, but then delete them. I'm very unsure of things. So, you know, I feel like this person does reach out to you. They do just try to talk to you, but then they delete the message because they're unsure of your reaction. You could also do the same thing. But if that resonates, let me know. All right, I'm going to move on to Taurus. All right. Let's get Taurus in the house here. Just some quick messages for you guys. Hello, Taurus. How is it going? How are you guys doing? All right, Taurus. What does Taurus need to hear, please? What are the quick love messages from Taurus's person? All right, Taurus. God knew I needed you before I did. So this person is recognizing that God knew that this person needed to come towards you and you needed to come towards this person before this person ever knew you existed. So it's kind of that feeling of like, they know that this is some type of spiritual connection between you two. I love that you require me to change, never had to grow up to become better. So it's like this person loves the fact that you set boundaries loves the fact that you know what you want and that's what you're going after. The fact that you don't let this person get away with certain things. That's actually a turn on for this person, Taurus. Saying goodbye to you was the hardest thing I ever had to do, but it was the only thing to do that felt right at the time. So someone may have walked away from you, Taurus, and now they're kind of coming in with this message of, even though saying goodbye to you was something hard that I had to do, it wasn't necessarily something that I wanted to do, but at the time it was the only way or the only thing that felt was right so i definitely feel like this person's definitely thinking about you still taurus definitely still in your energy field i definitely feel like you both are still connected to one another <clears throat> i denied my feelings for you for a long time but those feelings only grew stronger and stronger every day so someone definitely has some strong feelings for you taurus I feel like their feelings are going stronger for you. <clears throat> I 
maybe this person was afraid to admit that they had feelings for you, but now it's kind of an energy of like, they can't hide behind that anymore. Their feelings are um, overpowering them. And fireworks, yeah, you give this person fireworks, Taurus. This person is feeling a lot for you, even though they may have never said that. So if that resonates, let me know. All right, Geminis. What's up, Jimmy Jams? How's it going? All right. What is the overall message for Gemini? What are the love messages coming through for Gemini, please? What are the love messages coming through for Gemini, please? All right. Jimmy, Jimmy. I know deep down I can never lose you. Gemini, someone doesn't want to lose you. They're feeling so connected to you. They're, they're 555 could be an angel number for some of you, but it's like, you know, deep down this person doesn't want to think of life without you. Ooh. Some tea there, Gemini. This person doesn't want to think without you. I couldn't imagine spending the rest of my life with anyone but you. Like, this person has seen this. Like, I literally have daydreamed about this or visualized this or literally saw you in my future. I've seen you as my wife. I've seen you as my husband. This person has literally visualized that. I'm just going to pop up when you least expect it. This person's not calling you. They're not texting you. This person is someone who's just going to show up. They're going to show up. You're going to hear a knock on the door. You're going to hear your doorbell ring, whatever the case is. They're going to, you're going to be like, who the hell's at my door at this time? This person's just going to show up. They want to have a conversation with you. They see you as being their true love. They see you as being your, their one and only. This person knows what they want and I feel like they're coming for it. They're not going to take no for an answer. They're very sexually addicted to you as well. This person has a lot of sexual energy towards you. And then we've got, I'm ready to open up and go to church with you literally and ready to explain everything. So this person's literally coming through and saying like, look, I'm ready to open up with, to you. I'm ready to tell you everything that's been going on. I'm ready to open my heart. I'm ready to allow you to come in. I'm ready to be vulnerable with you. And this might be why they're showing up unexpectedly. This might, they want to, they might want to throw you off course because there might be something here where it's like, you think they don't care. You think they don't like you. That You don't think they don't love you. But it's quite the opposite of that. This person, I feel like, is madly in love with you or has love for you. And it's like they just want to be able to show you that. So words are words. This person, I feel like, is coming in to back that up with action. So Gemini, interesting. Let me know if that resonates with you guys. All right. Cancer. How's it going, Cancer Babes? How are you? All right, let me see what I can get for you. All right. Why is Cancer's message, please, Spirit? What is Cancer's message? All right, Cancer. <clears throat> I'm sexually addicted to you. Cancer, your person is sexually addicted to you. They got a little bit of like obsessive sexual energy coming through. Where I feel like this person is missing the times you had together. Or it's like they're fantasizing about you or something along of that. But they got a lot of sexual energy for you. Being with you makes me forget all about my hard days and moments. So it's like being with you. This person knows that like this is where they want to be. They want to be here with you. Loving you has been the most rewarding thing, but scary thing. It's like loving you, being open, being vulnerable. That That's really scary for this person. But it's like they want that. They want to be in love with you, Cancer. They want to open themselves up to you. The passion, sexual energy is all throughout me. I never craved anyone this way. This person's going insanely crazy without you, Cancer. They want you, and they're coming back to claim that. Like They want you in all areas of their life. Yeah, I want a new beginning with you. Interesting. I love how this is flowing very nicely for you, Cancer. I'm scared to face what I need to right now, but this person's scared to come forward. They're scared to uh, they're scared to speak their truth towards you. But at the end of the day, you are this person's soulmate, and that's what they want to come through and saying, like, look, even though we've had our differences, I need you to know that you're my soulmate. I feel like you're my soulmate. I never felt this safe with anyone before. You're my safety place. Yeah, like you're the person's safety place. They have never felt this intense connection before as they do with you. So if that resonates, fantastic. Let me know, Cancer, in the comments.
All right, Leo. What is Leo's love messages, please? Leo, someone feels terrible for hurting you. They are coming in this place of energy of, I don't know why I did what I did is what I'm feeling this person saying, Leo. But you are the, you are my one and only. It's like this person sees you as being their one and only. There's no one else for this person but you. Yeah, they see you as the one. This is someone's that like, they know that there's something here. They know that there's something with you. And they don't want anyone else, Leo. This person has their eyes set on you. Continue to love me. I need you. I feel like this person wants you to continue to love them or and continue to love yourself too, Leo. Because I feel like there's an energy of two people loving one another or two people have feelings for one another. But for whatever reason, you guys aren't, I don't know, for whatever reason, you guys are not going after it. I don't know what's going on here, Leo. I don't care if there's another prissy or cock in my face. I only want yours. So it's like this person's coming through and saying, like, I don't care if there's another prissy or cock in my face. Like, I literally only want you, Leo. All right. I love you more than anyone I've ever loved before. I definitely feel like someone's in love with you, Leo. Whether they've told you that, whether they've told you that or not, they're definitely still in love with you. And I'm afraid to contact you. Someone wants to reach out to you, Leo, but they're afraid to contact you. It's like they don't know what to say, even though they have words to say. So if that resonates, let me know. Virgo. What is Virgo's message, please? What does Virgo? 555 could be a number for you, Virgo. What does Virgo need to hear? All right, Virgo. Spiritual awakening, 1111, a new beginning of love. So there's a new beginning of love coming up for you, Virgo. 1111 could be a significant number for you guys. We've got I'm coming by you later. So I feel like someone is coming by you later. Someone wants to have a conversation or talk or have a new beginning on love with you. This person is saying you sold their heart at hello. So kind of love at first sight for this person. Like the, the moment they saw you, they knew that you were going to be the one. And continue to love me. I need you. This person still needs you. They still love you, if that makes sense for you. I sabotaged this connection and I regret it. So someone sabotaged this connection with you, Virgo. And it's like, now they want a second chance to make this right with you. They want to come back around and have a do-over. We've got, I love you so much it hurts. So yeah, so definitely someone still loves you, Virgo. And I denied my feelings for you for a long time, but it didn't work. The feelings only grew stronger and stronger every day. So it's like someone is literally saying, like, I have feelings for you. Um, maybe I didn't see it back then. Maybe I didn't take the time to kind of register that. But now I'm registering how I truly feel about you. And I kind of want this connection with you. I kind of want to see where things going. So I kind of like that. I'm kind of digging that message for you, Virgo. So if that resonates with you. Then, one sec, guys, sorry. <clears throat> okay, yeah, if that resonates with you guys, let me know. All right, Libra. What is up, Libra? How is it going? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. All right. What does Libra need to know, please? What does Libra need to know? All right, Libra. Work is keeping me busy and steady. I do miss you even if you think I don't. So Libra, this person is very busy with work, very busy with career, very busy with money. But it's like that feeling of even though I'm working a lot, even though my mind is occupied, even though I'm doing a bunch of other things, I do think about you. I do miss you even if you think that I don't. 
you're my one and only. I don't feel like this person is entertaining someone else. I feel like they're just busy. And I feel like they are coming through saying like, look, you are my one and only. I love that you required me to change. I never had to grow up to become better. So you could have been putting batteries down, setting something down with this person where it was like, look, things have to change. I can't deal with, I can't deal with this like this. Like we got to, you got to be more consistent. We got to be on the same page here. So I feel like there's been a, like, you're requiring this person to change, which is actually beneficial towards your relationship. They're very sexually addicted to you too. This person does crave you. They do long for you. They do love you to the point that it does hurt them to be away from you. But I just feel like where they are in their life right now, our ups and downs are only making us stronger. There's still lessons we need to learn. So they know that this whole situation between you and them is about lessons. It's about learning something. We've got, there was someone else interfering in our relationship. So there could have been a third party situation happening here. I denied my feelings for you for a long time, but it didn't work. The feelings only grew stronger and stronger every day. So someone denied how they felt about you. You know, maybe they were coming from fear, ego, third party energy, whatever the case is. But it's like the more they tried to deny it and push it away, the more it started screaming at them. So I feel like it's at the point where they're kind of recognizing that they have feelings there and they have to do something about it. I was chasing what wasn't important. Now I'm chasing what is, and that's you. Yeah. They were chasing everything else, but that didn't work for them, did it? All right. Let me know if that resonated in the comments, Libra. All right, Scorpio. What is Scorpio's love messages, please? Scorpio. Scorpio, this person wants to plan a weekend getaway with you. Says you're in my future. Don't worry about the now. So this person knows that they have a future with you. They don't want you to worry about the now. Uh, you're always on this person's mind. They see you as being their true love. Ooh, this is so sweet. I'm scared to face what I need to right now. I do feel like they want to share something with you. Maybe that's something that they want to get off their chest that maybe they've had a hard time to do that. I know deep down it can never lose you, but this person doesn't want to lose you, Scorpio. They absolutely love you. They need you. You seem to think I don't care, but I care more than you think. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit of like this person does care about you, but I feel like they may be occupied with something else. You are the light of my darkness. Keep shining bright so I can come back home. Yeah, kind of the energy of um, you have this light, you have this aura about you. I denied my feelings free for a long time, but it didn't work. The feelings only grew stronger and stronger every day. So yeah, um, kind of that energy of like this person does have feelings for you and maybe you guys were separated or maybe you guys took some time apart. But I definitely feel like this person's in their feelings about you, Scorpio, okay? All right, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, what's up? How are you guys? Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Let me go ahead and get you guys a message. <sighs> okay. What is Sagittarius' message, please? What is Sagittarius' message? What is Sagittarius' message, please? All right, Sagittarius. I'm so jealous of all the people that get to be close to you. This person doesn't like the idea of you being with anyone else, Sagittarius. They're like, oh, hell no. I do not want my Sagittarius with anyone else but me. They are very terrible. They feel terrible for hurting you as well. This person is thinking a lot about what they've done to you. I was chasing what wasn't important. Now I'm chasing what is and that's you. It's like they want to come back around because what they were chasing, maybe they're realizing that's not what they wanted. They're very sexually addicted to you too. We've got loving you has been the most rewarding thing, but scary thing. Yeah. They were very scared of opening themselves up to you for some reason, but they are seeing you more and more as their soulmate every day. Like, it's like, this is where I want to be. I want to be here with you. Work does keep me busy. I want to make sure we are both financially secured and stable. So this person like wants to be very financially secured, wants to be very financially stable. 
I loved you more than anyone I've ever loved before. They have never loved anyone this way and not as much as they love you. And I love you so much. It hurts. Yeah. This person has a lot of love set or a lot of love for you, Sagittarius. Okay. Hopefully that resonated with you guys. Capricorn. All right. Capricorn. I just saw two, two, two for you guys. What um, are the love messages surrounding Capricorn's energy, please? All right, Capricorns. I couldn't imagine spending the rest of my life with anyone but you. This person has literally fantasized about spending the rest of their life with you or have thought about spending the rest of their life with you. I love you more than anyone I've ever loved before. This person has a lot of love for you. A lot of love for you. There's a spiritual awakening, 11 and 11, new beginning of love. So there's a spiritual awakening between you guys. 11, 11 can be a very significant number for you guys. But I feel like two people are finally coming together or repatching or something. I get lost in your arms and eyes. So I do feel like this person gets lost in your arms or your eyes, Capricorn. I sabotage this connection and I regret it. So someone knows that they sabotage the connection with you, Capricorn, and now they're regretting it. Maybe the grass wasn't so green or on the other side. You're the other half of what I've been asking God for. So this person has prayed for you. They've literally prayed for this connection with you. I fell in love and got my heart broken. I never thought I'd care about love the way until I fell in love with you. So yeah, I would definitely say someone's in love with you, Capricorn. Someone wants you. Even away, I'm loving and missing you. So if this person's away from you, know that they are thinking about you. They are missing you. And I feel terrible for hurting you. So I definitely would say someone's in their feelings right now for hurting you. So if that resonates, let me know, Capricorn. All right. What is Aquarius's messages, please? Aquarius. Someone says, continue to love me. I need you. So someone doesn't want you to give up on them just yet says, ever since I met you, nothing in my life seems to make any sense anymore. My whole world has been turned upside down. So this person feels like their whole world has been turned upside down. You're in my future. Don't worry about the now. They don't want you to worry about the future because they know they don't want you to worry about the now because they know you're going to be with them in the future. Says, sorry, I'm a closed book. I'm going to try harder to show you attention. So this person may have been closed off from you. Um, but it's like now they want to open themselves up to you. They want to be vulnerable with you. I'm too scared to face what I need to right now, but I still feel like there's a lot going on with this person. They still need a bit more time, Aquarius. And then our ups and downs are only making us stronger. There's still lessons we need to learn, okay? So I do feel like this person still has a lot going on with them, and they still need time to figure out, you know, how they feel. So if that resonates, let me know, guys. All right, Pisces. What is Pisces' message? Thank you. Pisces, we've got... You're in my mind. Don't worry. You're in the future. Don't worry about the now. I hate the fact that I'm ignoring you and pushing away. It just scares me to feel so much for you. So this person does feel a lot for you, but I do feel like they push you away. Loving you has been the most rewarding thing, but the scary thing. So yeah, I do feel like this person's scared. I'm so jealous of all the people that get to be close to you. This person hates the idea of you being with anyone else, Pisces. They don't like the feeling of that. I know deep down I can't ever lose you. They don't want to ever lose you. You are the other half of what I've been asking God for. Yeah, they've definitely prayed for you. They've prayed for this connection. And I love you more than I've ever loved anyone before. So I do feel like whoever this is for you, Pisces, they have a lot of love for you. All right, guys. If that resonated with you guys, let me know. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'll talk to you guys again soon.